we do not want to catch the technology that is now. We really want to go ahead, maybe even create new technologies. And so, so we want to start the race at the top. We trust in ourselves. We have the engineering capability. We have the technological potential. We know what we can do, but we will always try to aim to be the best, to create new technologies and to drive maybe the defense technology in all over the world. Hello and welcome to TRT World's special coverage from Technofest Istanbul 2025, the world's largest aviation, space and technology festival. Welcome to TRT World, uh, Mr. Gularius. Thank you. You're also welcome to Technofest and STM's. If you can throw some light on now uh, uh, STM's overall vision for Turkey's defense sector, uh, how do STM uh, platforms such as, uh, I believe, Milgem, STM 500, uh, Cargo and Togan uh, reflect Turkey's self-reliance in defense sector and defense technology. Uh, STM is really an important engineering company in defense sector. Our motivation is to develop highly advanced engineering technologies wherever it's needed in the defense sector. So STM is uh, doing businesses and projects in many different areas like cybersecurity, naval engineering, submarines and tactical UAVs and many other software issues also. So we, we are really trying to fill the gaps, especially the advanced technology gaps that's needed by our defense sector. We are trying to form ecosystems that are capable of building even very advanced and complex systems and platforms in those areas. So we have done what we have to do up to now but technology is advancing very fast and our needs is also getting more and more complex day by day. So as STM, we are going to invest in new areas, the future technologies, and we will develop indigenous national systems for those technology areas also in the future. How does STM balance showcase, showcasing national capabilities uh, with fostering international collaborations? Uh, what are the STM's uh, export targets in the new future? Thank you. Well, our main and first priority is to solve the needs of Turkish Armed Forces. Our national requirements is first our priority, but it's our government's policy and also STM's policy is to share whatever we can do with our allied and friendly nations also. So, I have mentioned that we are an engineering company. Our motivation, especially in export area, is not to try to sell something, but try to be a partner, a long-term partner of those countries, allied countries, friendly countries, and try to come up with solutions, indigenous for their needs and for their requirements. How have you seen the growth of Turkish defense uh, industry in all these years, and how it has kind of also become an international player? If you can throw some light on this. Uh, we have progressed very, very fast, actually, because we know our competitors worldwide and so some of them has been, for example, in the naval shipbuilding area, has been building ships for very, very long decades and even centuries and, and so. So as STM, for example, we are really started the race quite later, but now we are competing with them in many international projects. We have really progressed very fast in the last 20, 25 years as Turkish defense sector. But still, I believe that we are just in the beginning. We have a huge potential, we have a huge capacity. And with the support of our youth in the future, I'm really optimistic about what the Turkish defense sector can do. And we are going to do it. As you mentioned about the focus on youth, I believe STM has introduced uh, many uh, interactive experiences for young people such as FPB drone simulation, digital memory, games etc. at this event. How important is youth uh, engagement in shaping uh, Turkey's future scientists and engineers and uh, how important are events such as uh, Technofest in that context? Well, when we defense on the defense sector, I'm always saying that we, we have managed to achieve some of our dreams. Not yet, not completely. We are still working on it. But we need our future, our youth, for our future needs and future programs. And so, because the young generation is much more interested in technology, in issues like drones and other systems, cyber security, software. And we are trying to make some games so that they can see that they can do something also. They can learn something and then they can use all this information and achieve much bigger projects, important problems they can solve. So all the aim of STM is to have some 
attention from the young people about what we have done and what they will do in the future.